Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Cricut is coming out with a really huge update with the text feature. I'm so excited about this. A while ago, I showed you how to curve your text in a different separate website, but they're making it available to us as Cricut users. Fun fact, you actually can already test out this new feature and it's over in the beta version. So today I'm gonna to show you how to switch your design space over into beta and then play around with the new text feature just to show you what it's all about. The other thing with this too is it's kind of given me like 1990s Microsoft PowerPoint where they have like those, I'll have to find a picture of it on online, but it is totally giving me those vibes like we are going right to 1990s. But you know what? Here's the thing is, is Cricut's always evolving. So although this is in the beta version one and two, there's going to be some like old retro things that you thought you didn't want to see for forever and ever, I'm sure they're gonna come out with a whole bunch more as they roll out this new feature. So let's get started. Okay, so all you're gonna need is a blank window in Design Space. Right now, I am not in the beta version of Design Space, so you won't see the new feature until you move over into the beta version. Don't worry, if you switch over the beta version and you're not liking it over there, you can always switch back. Like it's not a forever thing. You're not stuck. <laughs> you're not stuck with having to have to be stuck in one or the other. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up over, over here to the top left to the hamburger lines. And then we're going to go down to settings. Click settings. This is going to pop up. The very first thing it says is the application experience. Do you want to be in the live version or you want to be in the beta version? The difference between the live and beta in any programming, live is essentially where all the kinks have been worked out. There should be no bugs, no glitches, nothing. Theoretically, that's what the live version is. The beta version, what that is, is they're still testing out new features. There might be bugs, there might be glitches, there probably is. That's why it's in the beta version. They're still testing it out. So it's gonna be like ever evolving when you're over in the beta version. You'll probably get more updates and things of that nature. But on that side, you're also gonna get like more features. So currently right now, it's the new text feature that they have, but the other thing too is the larger print and cut. We're talking 11 by 17. Talked about this before in a previous video, and it is the bee's knees. The ability to cut that big is amazing. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna press beta, and then when you press done, it, the application is going to restart. It's going to download some updates. So press done and it closes out and there we go. Okay, now that we're over in beta version, you will notice that on the top that we have something different and it's called that wrap. That is the new feature that we're going to use. Okay, so let's just insert a text box. So we're gonna go over here to the left and insert the text box. And let's do groovy because that groovy font is like super hip right now. And then let's go over here into the text, into the changing the fonts. We're gonna go into system and I am going to change my font over to that abstract groovy font, which is the font that everyone's been using right now. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just going to exit out of there, or click out of that. Let's make this bigger. So the unfortunate part about this is this feature right now is only available to Cricut Access members. So if you don't pay for access, you won't be able to use this feature, which is really sad. Hopefully they change that, but I am not sure. I don't have any inside intel for that. Hopefully they do change that because that would be really sad that you wouldn't be able to use it if you weren't a Cricut Access member. I always tell people to pay for that. That is something that I have always paid for since the very beginning and still do. So there is that, but like, you know, hopefully they do change that in the future. Okay, so when you have your text put in there, all you're gonna do is you're gonna press this wrap and then we're gonna check it out. Okay, so we have all of these little options and you can click on it. Let's drag this over. See how now it just like did a, it went um, in like a circle and we can adjust it and make them like more. See how it's like curving it even more. Okay, or we can go to number two and it's gonna curve down. Okay, but let's go over here into the groovy and we can change the amount of wave that we have. Let's say that this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a wavy text just like I showed you in a previous video. 
We have one and you're like, wait, I want multiples. So taking one, we're gonna Command D and duplicate. And then let's do another one, Command D and duplicate. And you could just keep going if you wanted to and do like a whole bunch of lines to make sure that everything is lined up. All we're gonna do is we're gonna select these three and we're gonna align it to the center. And then let's align this or vertically. And now everything is evenly spaced throughout and then also everything is completely center. And look at that, we have now a wavy text that we just created in a matter of seconds in design space. Now the only thing is, is if you have them three texts, three text lines like this, and you select all, the wrap will not be available for you. That said, if you didn't want to copy and paste at, you know, the two times or Command D and duplicate the two times to get your lines, what we also could do is edit our text box. So double clicking on our text box and let's do groovy two additional times. Now you can come up here into wrap again and we're gonna select the wave. And there it is. Now we are getting some waves. Now these waves seem like they're very, very pronounced, right? So you can move them. You can adjust the wave if you wanted to. You could do it the way that I previously showed you. You could do it this way, like either way. Now, if you wanted to change the wave or we can change the, you know, the way that it looks, you can continue going into different warp features. Now, the other thing, I'm not outside of using the wave feature. I'm not quite sure I personally am going to use like any other features of the wave. However, there is another one, which in my first initial glance at this new feature, I was like, oh, I am gonna use this for sure. Okay, so I am just gonna put in this text right here. I'm sure this isn't the exact text that is in the movie, but I maybe you'll be able to figure out what it is that I am trying to replicate here. Here is this, it's still in the abstract groovy. Let's go and change the font and I'm gonna change the font and I'm gonna do Star Jedi. This is a downloaded font that I found on defont.com. And then when I have that, I'm just going to exit out of that, just click out of it. I wanna make these let, uh, the line spacing, I wanna make it a little bit smaller just so it doesn't get too spaced out. And then let's just make this smaller because I really wanna show you how neat this feature is. Okay, so here's that. Do you get that movie that I'm trying to replicate right now? It is like initially when I first saw this new feature, I was like, oh, this would be perfect for Star Wars. Okay, so we're gonna go over here into warp and I'm gonna find that one where doesn't that look like it's the Star Wars opening credits where it like goes through and it, you know, it's big and then goes into small. Then you can do it all different ways. See how that looks. So for me, this is the neatest feature is like now I can create a text that kind of gives me that vibe of Star Wars. So if you're a Star Wars geek like me, this I'm sure is like the answer that you've been waiting for to make your text features super easy and fun. All right, y'all, I cannot wait to see what you create with this new text wrap feature. I sure hope I inspired you to make, and I will see you later.